So you've spent all this time setting up your live stream in order to go live on YouTube. Well, now it's time for the fun part. Alerts are honestly one of my favorite things about streaming. I think they're super fun. It keeps chat engaged. So let me show you how to set up alerts for your YouTube streams. If that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a quick like on the video and ignore this little piece of paper that I have for my desk boom arm stand because I'm too cheap to buy a proper one because I'm balling on a budget. But let's get started. I've opened up Streamlabs OBS and I only have a blank scene with just our webcam as a source. If you guys haven't already seen the first couple of videos, I'll leave it linked in the top right corner. It's a playlist on how to start streaming to YouTube. And we go over setting up everything step by step, as well as finding the best streaming settings for your internet speed and your computer. So as you can see, I only have a webcam as our source here. So the first thing we want to do is click an add source, and then we're going to click on alert box, and then we're going to click add source. If this is your first one, it'll just pop up alert box, but I'm going to add a new source instead, and I'm going to call this one YouTube alert box. It does not matter. I'm just doing it just for clarity's sake. So once we have our alert box, I'm going to click add source and it's going to pop up our alert box settings. It might look different for you. In fact, it might actually look like this, but either way, it doesn't matter. You can use the simplified or you can use the regular, but honestly, we're not going to use either of these. We're actually going to use the website because we get way more control over our alerts. So we're actually not going to change anything on this regardless. And I'm just going to hit close and then just make sure that your alert box is above your webcam or your screen capture if you're playing games, because if it's behind, you're not going to be able to see the alerts that pop up. So let's go over to streamlabs.com. We want to go to the left hand side and click on alert box. This is going to allow us to change all the settings that we need. By the way, if you're using OBS studio or Twitch studio and you want to use Streamlabs alerts, all you'd have to do is copy this widget URL and paste it as a browser source. But if you're streaming through Streamlabs OBS like me, then you don't need to worry about that. So you can see we have a couple different general settings. You honestly don't have to change anything here. They have a profanity filter if you're worried about people saying bad words. And so you can change different things here. Honestly, I think the replace bad words with happy words is really funny, which is why I personally have it on. So let's go to the subscribers tab. And this is going to be any time we get a subscriber, this is going to happen. So let me pull up Streamlabs OBS and this at the same time so you can see what's going on. I've already gone ahead and set one up for us. So I'm going to hit test subscriber just to show you that it works. So I'm going to click test subscriber. Hey, bro. Then you can see that someone has just subscribed. I got my little ghost and I got all the text. I'll do it one more time so you can see and you can move the alert box so that way you can test and see where you want it to pop up on your screen. So obviously we wanna have it enabled. Right now the layout is that the picture is above the text. But if I wanted the text on the picture, I could click this and then I can click save settings and that'll make sure that everything is saved. So if you go to test it again, it'll pop up correctly like that. Honestly, I do not like that at all, which is why I had it on this way to begin with. But the choice is up to you. That's what the layout does. They have different alert animations. So whenever I have mine in, it slides up in and slides up down. But they have many different other ones that you can choose here. You can choose your message template. Mine just says whoever's name and it just subscribe. But you can say has joined the sub club or whatever you want. For the text animation, mine's wiggle. If I go and test it again, you can see see how these are wiggling the little green letters. That's what that text animation does. The image is going to be one of the most important things you can go to image, click on plus. And if you don't have any of your own images, you can go through the stock ones. These are all free that you can use. Or if you want, you can go to uploads and then you can add your own gifts, your pictures, whatever you want to add. And then you can just drag and drop or you can click this and it'll bring it up so you can import it. So you can select one from either of those and then hit select and it'll pop up. If you want, you can pick a sound. So same thing, you hit the plus and then if you want, they have stock sounds. Some of these you have to pay for, which indicate by the little star in the corner, that's the prime subscription, but you honestly don't need it. They have some free ones here as well. So you can just pick one, hit select, and it'll also save that there. Next, we have the sound volume. You can choose if you want it to be very loud, like a jump scare, or if you just want it to be soft, like my man titties. For the alert duration, that's how long it lasts on the screen. Alert text delay is if you want the text to show up after. And then if you want to get crazy with it, you can enable custom HTML or CSS. That's if you know how to code. And then you also can change the font settings. So you can change the different font, the size, the weight, the color, all that stuff. And then once you've done everything you want here, you can click save settings and then scroll back up. And then you can click test subscriber and your alert pops up on your screen for your subscribers. Now you can do this for all the other tabs for different members, super chats, pledges, merch, all that stuff. But I wanna go over variations. So we're on the super chats page right now. So I'm just gonna test a regular super chat just to show you what the alert looks like. I'll click test super chat. He needs some milk. Which is really loud and obnoxious. Just my favorite thing to do during streams. But let's say we wanted a different alert to play if they donate $100 or more just to make it extra spicy. So we can actually scroll down and then that's actually what the variations tab is for. So we'll add a 
variation with default settings, and then we can name it $100. So this is where the condition comes into play. Instead of being random, you can actually make it, if someone super chat at least $100, then it'll play this alert. And then the frequency is 100 for $100. So then you would just go and change the settings like you did before, then you can click save. And so now if someone super chats over $100, then we'll click test, and this alert will pop up instead of the default super chat alert. You can set up variations for all of the other tabs as well. So if you want a different subscriber alert to pop up and you don't just want the same one pop up every time, you can go to subscribers, go to variations, and then you can add a variation so it'll appear randomly. So it's kind of like a 50-50, whether it's one alert or the other, or you can add more and more and more, and it'll just be random every single time. So now that you've got your alert set up for your YouTube stream, watch this video to the side of me. It's going to help you so much for your YouTube streams and continue on the playlist to be the best YouTube streamer you can be. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below, Spooky Gang. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.